To gap or not to gap? That is the question. Today we're talking about spark plug technology and what you have to do before you install it. Next. This video is sponsored by Autolite, manufacturers of high quality spark plugs since 1935. Visit autolite.com for more information. Back in the day, this used to be a technician's best friend. It used to be in their front pocket all the time because they used it to gap spark plugs. All they had were copper core plugs and they usually had a set distance between the two electrodes and it had to be adjusted depending on the vehicle. But things have changed. You still have to gap some plugs and reference the manufacturer specification for the gap, but it's becoming increasingly rare and rare as more and more manufacturers use spark plug technology that does not need to be gapped. For instance, this one spark plug that goes in a Ford that actually has a strap over the top of the center electrode. On some spark plugs with a fine wire that have precious metals on both electrodes, gapping it with the wrong tool and the wrong technique can damage the spark plug and potentially dislodge the fine wire or the precious metal plate on the strap of the electrode. So after you order that set of spark plugs for a vehicle, make sure you're looking at the service information for that particular vehicle. And you have the gap that should be there and also the installation methods that should be used. This includes the torque for installation. So gapping a spark plug, it's not technically dead. You're gonna to have to do it on some spark plugs. And this includes some fine wire plugs. So make sure that you're using the right tools. If you're using one of these wedge style things that are designed to fit in between the electrode with a ramp, they could possibly damage that spark plug. And it's critical that you don't use these. So if you're dealing with a copper core or a fine wire spark plug, make sure you're using a wire style gauge to measure the gap. This way, you're not gonna be damaging the electrodes. And chances are on one end of it, it has the right tool to properly bend the strap so you're not causing damage to a very expensive spark plug. I'm Andrew Markell, thank you very much.